This is a video uh, as a direct response to a comment I got um, on my last video um, about the collet system and the problems I'm having. I haven't taken a whole lot of time to sit down and figure out what it is because I'm usually running things and uh, I need my machine and I don't have time to tear it apart. But um, I have a little spare time and I got a question about it so I'm going to go through it and actually look at it a little bit and try to figure out what's going on. Um, these are the best calibers I have. Um, they'll measure down to a, a half a thou. Um, so the potential problems uh, we're going to start with either uh, the stock or the, the collet here itself. Um, either the stock could be a little bit big or the collet could be um, a little bit small or you know we'll, we'll figure it out as we go so I'm gonna first I'm gonna measure the diameter of this bar um, as best I can and uh, make sure it's not too big um, for the collet and then we'll see how it fits in the collet and uh, start progressing from there so uh, let me see if I can get this done in front of the camera okay so all right, so if I get this, looks like it's uh, 748 and a half. Um, so under 750, um, depending on how I hold it here. So we're going to go ahead and rotate it. Uh, still for uh, 748 and a half. We're going to rotate it some more. Um, 749. Uh, I'm going to rotate it some more. 747 and a half. So it's definitely under. Um, one point, I mean, uh, 750, um, all the way around this bar. Um, so in theory, it should perfectly fit in this three quarter inch, uh, collet. Um, so let's see how, how it actually goes. And that's a it. It's stuck really hard to push. I'm pushing about as hard as I can, uh, to get it to slide here. And that's the and that's the main problem. When I have this in the collet closer, which I'll show here in a minute, um, I can't get the bar loose enough to pull with a bar puller, um, or even by hand. Sometimes you have to push it from the back side um, through to to get it to 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 come out. It's hard to grab and pull the bar out uh, by hand just because it is so darn tight. Uh, I can really using about all my force to get it to move um, and it's actually you're not gonna be able to see it probably here but there's it's creating a score um, down here and this isn't the only collet um, that does this and so I'm sure Tormach doesn't make these collets himself but if you look there they've got them branded um, with their name on them and if you're gonna put your name on them and sell them as your own you really should check the quality of them uh, so that's the main problem I'm having so far um, another problem which I'll try to get on video but it's gonna be hard is this little uh, groove um, that's ground in here um, there's burrs and all kind of problems so this doesn't just easily slide into the collet uh, and, and into the you know the the spindle itself um, because there's a little pin obviously that rides in here uh, to, to align everything um, and and it gets caught up and hung and, and doesn't want to go on and that's not just on this collet it's on several collets I bought a whole collet set uh, Tormach branded and um, had a ton of problems um, with most of them uh, I've only used a few like an inch half inch three quarter inch um, this is the three quarter um, I'm not sure if you can actually see that um, but this is the th just the three quarter, the last one I used on the last job. Um, so I'm gonna try to look at a few other things, see if there's something down here inside that's catching. I can't see it through the camera, anything in there. Um, and then obviously, if this part doesn't work, then the collet system itself can't work, and the automated system can't work, and the bar puller can't work. I've seen people uh, jam screwdrivers down in here and spread these out a little bit. I've heard that if you get like the next size up in metric, um, it works better. But I mean, the bar is less than three quarter. I mean, it's got I don't know, I can't remember about two to three thou clearance. 
So this three quarter hole uh, should be fine. I'm gonna see if I can find a three quarter inch end mill uh, to shove down here and see how that fits. Uh, I'll be right back with that. Okay, so what I have here is, uh, this should be about as good as you can get it. Um, I have a uh, TTS uh, tool holder, uh, not a knockoff, this is made by Tormach. Um, let's see here, it is... Seven forty-eight and a half. Um, this is, uh, you know, ground and polished, um, so there's going to be a heck of a lot uh, less friction on this uh, than there would be on, you know, a similar diameter, uh, you know, just raw stock. Um, and it is a pretty tight fit going in, and it's even tighter trying to come out. I have to put quite a bit of. Uh, pressure to get it to come out. I, I can't slowly pull it out of here. Um, so even on this precision ground uh, shaft here, there's still a ton of uh, friction here. Um, so obviously you're not going to get, you know, stock that's precision ground, you know, uh, to, uh, smooth. Um, so any, any slight roughness in here is going to be drug up on every, uh, sharp edge or whatever it's it's catching up on uh within the collet i'm still going to uh try to i looked at it by eye and i don't see anything that you know like birds or anything that would that are catching anywhere um and it did put a nice scratch in this bar here um pulling it in and out so uh that's the start of the problem um and like I said, I've seen uh, people uh, on the internet pry these apart, but then you had to grind something. I can't remember where uh, because it was sticking out too much. I think it's something back here. You had to grind a relief in, and I'm just not really up for doing that, especially when you buy something that uh, you know you expect to to just work. Um, so anyway. That's the current problems I'm having. I'm not sure if I'm going to go any further on this video because um, there's not much else to show until I can, you know, either get a collet that fits or, you know, grind down some stock or, or something to, to see what it actually can do. Um, but I will go ahead and show uh, the collet, trying to put this collet in down the barrel of the spindle if I can and such. Not sure if you can see in there or not. There's a little pin on one of the sides. I can't see. Um, but and here is an example of the, uh, the collet not wanting to go in. Um, I've got the. Uh, the groove lined up with the pin um, and then it kind of just stops here it should slide all the way back up to here uh, with no jamming or binding um, sorry I'm holding this by hand so you have to hit it pretty hard which isn't what you want to do I can't even get it to go in this time so then you have to jack around with it to try to get back out Try to line it up again. It's definitely in the groove. I can feel that it doesn't want to turn this way, but it also doesn't want to go in either. And this is the same collet that I had in earlier. That I cut the job on. Um, so it does go in and it does come out, um, but there's just something wrong in this groove here um, and looking at it by eye I really can't tell what it is um, but the other collets will fit in uh, let me go grab another collet and see if I can't find one that just goes in like it should okay so here's like a it's not even a clean it's got dirt and chips and stuff on it um, but if 
find the little slot and it slides right in like it should. Um, so it's a problem with the collet itself, but it's not just one collet, it's, you know, my main collets, most of them do it. Um, I had to dig around a few to find one, and this one still, as you can see, it, it gets jammed a little bit, um, but now it's going in. Um, so just the collets themselves, man, Tormach, if you're going to put your name on it, um, you know, at least quality, check it. Um, the I've had some of the... Um, ER16 collets, I mean not collets, uh, uh, tool, you know, tools um, for my mill that um, that that the grind was wrong um, on them, and the uh, you couldn't even screw uh, the the ER nut on it. It, it just wouldn't go on um, if you had a collet in it because the the grind was wrong. Um, Comes straight from Tormach, you know, their name all over it. So. Um, this machine, I've got some complaints uh, about it. I mean, I love the machine, really, I do. Um, but there were a lot of dumb things, like when I first got the machine, um, they have, I'm trying to look for them, I think these blocks uh, right up here um, that the wheels are on, uh, they were drilled, tapped, and then run through a polisher. Um, so the threads were all jacked up. You you couldn't fit the screws in, so I had to retap every single one of them. Um, just little things like that when you get a machine and you're fighting through the instructions uh, to get it, you know, put together, and you're you're wanting, you know, things to just work. You don't want to have to go back and retap holes that should have already been tapped. Um, there were several holes that needed to be tapped on the uh, on the enclosure as well. Uh, that that I, I don't know, they were just half tapped or tapped with a really worn out tap, I'm not sure. Um, all right, so back to the, the collet closer here. I'll go into this more in detail later. This is just a quick video, um, but basically how this works is um, you tighten this down, um, that pulls the collet in. Um, it's, I need both hands to do this, but um, it tighten, pulls the collet in, you get it to the point where um, it's loose enough, which I can't because the collets are all jacked up, to where you can pull the bar in and out. Uh, but when you pull this bar back, um, you can see these little uh, feet roll up onto onto here and kind of lock themselves in place when you have uh, material in. I'll show that later. Um, and this actually seems to work okay. This thing vibrates like crazy. I mentioned that in the last video. Um, I, the black plastic broke off here, but this thing just wobbles up and down. It doesn't really hurt anything. It just sounds wonky. Um, but this part actually seems to work okay. It's just the collets that I paid, you know, for. Uh, I got a whole uh, set of collets here. And... Um, you know, it'd be nice if what I paid for with Tormac's name on them actually worked um, without having to stretch them out or buy new special stock or whatever. Eh, sorry, don't mean to rant. Um, so, anyway, back to this. This locks the, uh, locks the stock. You should be able to just push this back the other way uh, to loosen the stock, uh, be able to pull it out or, in, in my case, grab it with the, uh, the grip all and pull it out. Uh, I've already installed and um, used somewhat the um, uh, the collet, automatic collet, collet closer, um, but since I'm having so much trouble with the actual bar, it's you know getting locked tight and not. Um, it's just easier to just to do it by hand because I can shove it as hard as I want. I can, you know, adjust things when you've got a bar locked in between here that's holding everything. It's just not, not easy to, to adjust. Uh, but I'll show that when I get that all worked out. Um, I hope this uh, answered some of the questions or at least uh, gave you an idea of some of the issues I was having with uh, the collets, uh, not so much the collet closer. Um, I just can't get to the collet closer part without jacking with these collets and I just hadn't had the time. Alright, thanks for watching.